Now the whole point in using user forms is to try and emulate some of the dialog boxes that Excel uses itself. Possibly to give less choices or to give more choices or to give different choices. One of the things you'll notice when you use a dialog box in Excel itself, for example, if we take the alignment one or even any of these groups here, is that you have the option for little tabs across the top that effectively allow you to offer more choices within the same screen space. These little tabs are referred to as pages in programming, and we can do exactly the same on our user form. So in the form template, we can go into the VBA and on our form, we can add a multi-page control. That's this little option here, multi-page. When we go into our form, click and drag. By default, you get two pages. Now you can have more than that. There won't be any point in having less than that, which you might as well just be on the form. Get a new one, we right click a new page. To remove one, you can right click and delete page. To rename one, you can right click and rename. Or we can change the properties down here. So the tab has a name, but the caption, which is what gets displayed to our users, I'm going to call that one options. Page two, I'm going to call that tab two. And we'll call that details. And page one, which I'll call tab one, call that personal. Now, our OK and cancel buttons can be on any of these. I might want to make the OK button on the third of the pages. So effectively, they can't click OK until they've got into the third choice. However, do want to leave the cancel button on there at all times. So let's leave that down the bottom. We can resize our tabs there so they can take more. Move the OK button across to the right hand side. And then if we view the form, you'll see we get one, two, three tabs on the OKs on the third one. It's not on any of the other two, but the cancel is available at all times. So we can cancel out at any point we like. Now into each of these tabs, you can place any of the objects we've already looked at, a label, text box, scroll box, a list box, checkbox, etc. So you might want to collect in the personal bit the name. So we need label. View object. To click on the double click there. Label name. Now it might seem a little onerous, all this renaming of objects, but it does mean they've got sensible names when you're then trying to access them programmatically. Your name. And our little text box there to click their name in, which I'm going to call TXT name. And then we need another one which I'm going to call txt dob with a new label, your dob. On the details, let's have a larger text box, txt info with a label. In LBL info caption, please supply more information and on the options we'll just have a simple little list box list months we won't quite populate that just yet we'll add an initialize option a bit later so we'll put the months there now what we could do really between each of these to make life even easier for people because if we view this at the moment we see it works quite happily but they don't know they have to go into details and have to go into options to find the OK button. What would be quite nice if we had a little next button on here, which effectively move them to the details section, and then a next button on here that move them to the options. Everything is achievable. So our next button is actually going to be command button. Place that on there. We'll call that next one with a caption. Of simply next. Now I want pretty much the same thing on page two, so let's copy that, go into details, probably need to resize that up a little bit. 
just to make room for the next button really paste and then move our next button down to here but we need to give it a new name next to and then against each of these we need to add a bit of code when it's clicked on so we double click to take us into the VBA for our user form and it says next one which is the object the command button in this case underscore click so when I click that command button I effectively want to move to the second tab second page in our multi-page control now the way to move from one tab to another within your multi-page control is to actually set the value for the multi-page control to be which of the tabs you would like now each of the tabs are given an index number first one is zero the second one is one the third one is two the fourth one is three etc so it starts from zero as all indexes do in vba so we need to know what the multi-page tab is called not what the individual tabs are called so let's go back to our form the multi-page tab is that object there there we go just had a matter of deselecting the next button and selecting the multi-page tab it's called multi-page one i'm going to call mine tab ctrl tab control and then we go to our next button tab ctrl dot value so we can see it's there in the list equals one because i want to go to the second tab when you click next one Let's test that that works. Run the form. I'm on the first one and I say next. It takes me to the second one. What I then need to do is add a bit of VBA behind that next one. Cancel. So we're going to details. Double click the next button. And this is next to. Well, I simply take that little bit there, which is the name of our tab control. Dot value equals two. Back to the form. So from personal next takes you to details. From details next takes you to options where we finally find our OK button, which will carry out whatever code we want it to carry out and close the user form. So this is a multi-page control. It can have as many little tabs as you want. You simply right click and add a new one. We can change the order of the tabs just by right click and choose move, which brings us a dialog box up of the three tabs that we can then move up or down depending on where they already are in the hierarchy. And we can programmatically tell it which tab to display at any one time by using the name of the multi-page control dot value. The values being indexes from zero to however many tabs you have. So that's the multi-page tab. Quite useful if you want to get a lot of information or collect a lot of information on one small user form. Excel is already in the dialog boxes, as do all other programs. So there's nothing to stop you from doing a similar thing.